black. I should have my lightsaber. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I am looking for my lightsaber because we're getting ready for Comic Con, which is why I have my Star Wars hat. Of course, Comic Con starts in San Diego, California. It continues Actually, Wednesday she, through. She San has her play hat at the moment because. Oh, that's right. We we have we do have strawberry guns. I mean, we have we have marshmallow guns that we. We, we, we get in trouble with because we have a, the shared dog cannot have the marshmallows that we get. Yeah, on. this is a place where kids or adults all act like kids. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's, it's a fan convention. It's Disneyland <laughs> for everybody. So, so anyway, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. I know. I mean, the Obama with his, I'm going to raise taxes on 97% of all the small businesses, was such a tremendous uh, game changer that today Romney is now tied in all polls with Obama because they're listing Obama as the greatest taxer in the history of the world. They Ooh. said, soon they're going to said that, well, the one guy said if Ming's universe was here from the, from the, from the uh, Flash Gordon thinks he'd probably be the largest taxer in that universe also. Hmm. And two boys die from electrical shock in Tennessee Lake. Oh yeah, I mean, that's happened. What happens is, um, uh, don't go into the water when there's a thunderstorm. I mean, I was with, the, with my little this one at Disney World, and we're out on one of those, you know, one of those jet ski things, and all of a sudden we got, wah, wah, and they come and yanked us off our jet ski, and we're trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And they said, well, a thunderstorm is coming and you're out in the middle of the lake. Mm -hmm. So did we, get, uh, did we get a redo on it? No. And father, son arrested in Texas shooting of immigration agent. Yeah, but uh, okay, supposedly they find it rather coincidental that today the, the Republicans are going to federal court to bring charges against uh, against. Uh, holder, all of a sudden he releases a list of arrest warrants for people that he's had for a year, but never bothered with. Oh. They said that the problem is, if he knew these people a year ago, why did he why wait didn't, until uh, they're yeah. no longer in the country to do something? And former Argentine dictator is convicted in baby thefts. I, I know. The, the, okay, what? That's that. Basically, they they can't they, in in South America. They they do everything legal. They'll convict you on something, no matter what. And man acquitted and beating of priests, he said, sexually abused him. Yeah, because uh, basically the courts are never going to find for the priest. I mean, I would not want to be a priest anymore. What you are is here's the way. Um, remember on the Vernon Shirley, Tony Mecca used to say, "My father, my my father, my father," and they said, "Well, well yeah, my father is a Catholic priest." And they said, "Well, how is that possible?" He said, "Well, you can't get married." when you become a priest, but you can be married before you become a priest and join the priesthood. So you can be a married man and become a priest. But that's what they're going to have to start going to. And the reason why they're not allowed to get married is because the first pope, uh, a set of popes used to hand the thing down to their children. So they stopped that at church. And House Bill would cut food stamps and farm subsidies. Uh, well, yeah, basically it, it cuts out a zillion dollars for green energy. But our president is just pretending on that. He he needs to buy $26 a gallon fuel for our fleet and our jet airplanes and our tanks, which means we're using biofuel. They'll only run on biofuel, so therefore when you get into a war and you can't get biofuel, your entire army and navy come to a halt and all your airplanes crash. That makes sense, doesn't it? Mm. And Thomas Kincaid's wife and girlfriend head to court. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, that basically, uh, uh, but what it was is he died, I think, <laughs> and they're both claiming everything. But don't worry, the mother is also claiming, though. Oh, really? What it was, he left a very specific will, but they're saying it's irrelevant because I, I was with him long enough that I then get this. Well, I was his girlfriend, and I was with him longer than you were. So I get this, so, and then with the mother, who was, I was with him the longest. <laughs> so, yeah. And once Europe exits crisis, will UK exit Europe? The Europe isn't going to exit the crisis. God, it is collapsing today. I mean, uh, they gave a vote of confidence in Greek, in Greece. That is, unless they can't, uh, unless they don't get their way, then the Greek government is going to be replaced. They're going to come in with a government that's also going to exit the Eurozone. And Microsoft takes $6.2 billion charge and slows internet hosts. Yeah, well, that means they are going to 
that I'm going to bring out the surface now as of this morning. You can figure what? That out. Well, yeah, they just wrote off. They just wrote off six billion bucks. Uh, and Barclays, see, and I like the surface. I like the. I mean, basically, I, we want the big surface. The one we that, want the surface to come out. Yeah, we. In our case, we can use it because it's more. It's all the power on the go. Well, until I'll show you something. See this. It's got more power than the surface does. And Barclay CEO Bob Diamond quits. Yeah, and basically, uh, it looks like uh, Brannock is in big trouble because you know, the, the idiot with the Federal Reserve is connected to Barclays. It looks like Federal Reserve knew what was going on over at Barclays and did absolutely nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So. The market tank this morning when I found out there was a connection. There's now an investigation of his connection into everything. And the Democrats are doing it, folks, because the Democrats hate business and they, they figure, well, this is a winner with our people. Even though they're even though the majority of people say we gotta have businesses, we gotta get elected, and we don't think the Republicans are gonna vote for us. Mm -hmm. Hey, Republicans, BS has got something to tell you. The Democrats are smart enough to figure they have to get their base to vote for them. You're not going to get the. You're not going to get Latinos. You're not going to get black voters. Don't fight for it. Just get your base. And E. C. George Zimmerman under private protection in Florida. Yeah, this this is what the judge has done. The judge, by dumping the bell and doing another thing, basically made to put the guy's life in danger. Now, I mean, isn't that brilliant? Mm. Well, they would like to see this go away, and it's not going to go away because Eric Holder is using it as a civil rights case. And twenty thousand dollar reward for missing Hollywood executive. That's a farce. You get you can get that kind of reward for losing a dog out here, which mm. means they must know where he's at. We're hoping they've been waiting for a long time. Well, yeah, but a twenty thousand dollar reward. I mean, that, that you can get a dog on Brentwood that you can get a twenty thousand dollar reward for. So a husband. And twenty thousand. We've met the guy, folks. He's a great, big, tall former basketball player. Good looking. And Democrats want Romney to explain offshore accounts. Yeah, well, that's not going anywhere. Well, what does he need to explain him for? Because they said he's not paying his taxes. Well, no, he has a bit. Okay, businesses take money offshore so that they can do business in other countries without having to pay the higher rates. You cannot take money into a country you don't have money in. So you open up bank accounts, mm -hmm. put the money there. Then you can do businesses. Like if you go to the Channel Islands off of England, you can do business anywhere in Europe with the money that's in that bank. But if you take money from Bank of America here and try to go to there, they hit you with a special fee for it. It's called good business. Oh, and tough ID laws could block thousands of votes. Yeah, illegal votes. Uh, this is what one of the judges this morning said. He said, I have to have an ID to, I'm, I'm, he said, it's obviously I'm seeing a system. I have to have an ID to get to go get cigarettes, to get alcohol. Really? I have to have an ID for a driver's license. I can't get insurance without an ID. I can't cash a check without an ID. I can't use my credit card without an ID. I can't get my car fixed without an ID. But according to our president, you don't need an ID to vote, though. Mm -hmm. there's, see, there's something wrong with that philosophy. Plus the fact that, of course, the Supreme Court has already ruled in a case in, in previous, in 209, you have to present an ID, especially if the state is supplying the ID free of charge. Ooh. Yeah, but the illegals can't go get the ID because they have to present proof that they were uh, citizens, so they can't do it. And Spotty swings back to action with $140 million launch. But the problem is the $140 million launch was a one-week deal, and it didn't come in anywhere near Basically, the Avengers blew it out of the water. I mean, it only made $60 million over the weekend, and it was a 4th of July weekend, for Christ's sake. Oh, sake. and they came out with it Monday night, too. So it did not make as money as much money as it should have made, and it's gone, Ice Age is just going to tear it apart this week. You really think so? Ice Age is dwarfing it out of this country. And McConnell sees closely divided Senate coming. Well, yeah, they're figuring that, uh, okay, the Democrats have to hold 30, they've got 33, uh, the majority of the seats that are up are Democrats, and there's only a few Senate seats up for Republicans. So they think that the Democrats have 11 vacant seats, and they're going to lose some of them. If Republicans hold their seats and take some vacant seats, it's going to at least be a 50-50 tie. And NATO, six service members killed in Afghanistan. Yeah, because they, uh, they don't like the Americans firing missiles into Pakistan, so they kill, them, they kill all Americans in retaliation.
Anamonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, the good is often followed by the bad, but seldom is the bad ever followed by the good. 